Has Adam filmed his bit yet? Have you just watched Adam's review and now you're watching mine? Or are you watching my review and then Adam's is pinned onto the back of it? I don't know what order these videos are going up in. They're coming up together, but I don't know if he's first or I'm first. Enjoy it either way. Hello and welcome to the Adam Avell YouTube channel. We've got this Hershey's Cookies and Cream Salted Caramel. Now there were two of these. Flat white was the other one. Adam got the flat white, which you've already seen or you're about to see. I don't know what all of these are going up in. You may have seen that already. But I got the salted caramel. Why did I not insist that I do the flat white and he does the poxy salty caramel? You know what we feel about salty caramel on his channel. Someone on a podcast the other day said, caramel as we know it no longer exists. Everything is salted caramel. So this is a Hershey's salted caramel cookies and cream so it's a white chocolate bar with salted caramel cookies now i'm not the world's biggest hershey's fan i don't mind it max loves the original cookies and cream hershey's bar but max hasn't got the greatest taste in the world has he it's american ice american chocolate which is never as good as the chocolate here in the uk i'm sorry to our american cousins over the pond but it isn't as nice. And I think a lot of American people would probably agree with that. I've never been a big fan of Hershey's. I'm not a massive fan of white chocolate. And salted caramel is a pain in the backside if it doesn't taste like salt. So this is going to be a good review, isn't it? <laughs> so we will, I don't know if he's like the flat white bar. As I say, if you've seen it, we'll know at this point if he liked that flat white bar. If you haven't seen it, you're going to find out in a minute if he liked the flat white bar. So I'm going to get this open. So I think these Hershey's cookies and cream bars have pieces of cookie in it. So I want to taste salt. I want to taste salt from the caramel. And it's quite, I will say it's quite well packed out with the, you can see there, there's a lot of pieces in that chocolate bar. A lot of pieces. But on the top, it's like all the bits of salt to the bottom, because on the top it just looks like white chocolate with a few flecks. Max was going to be in this video, but I've decided to do it in the morning because I've got a lot of things to do today and he's still in bed. You can see them pieces there if they go and focus. There's lots of crispy pieces in there. But when I taste this, I want to taste the salt. So there's texture. There's definitely texture from those little pieces. There is a really, really good caramel flavour and I've still got little bits and pieces from those cookie bits in my teeth. There's no salt, you knew there was going to be no salt, I knew there was going to be no salt, it's just caramel flavour. Is it nice? Right, let's put my personal bias aside, let's put aside what I think about salted caramel, let's put aside what I think about white chocolate. It's sweet white chocolate, it's very creamy white chocolate, it's not as not as almost sharp as what you'd get in a Milky Bar or a Cadbury's, is it Dream, Cadbury's Dream, the white one? It's creamier. This bar, with the caramel flavour to it, isn't too bad at all, however, it's very sickly. My personal taste aside, it's not a bad bar of chocolate. If you like white chocolate and you like caramel and bits and pieces, you are going to enjoy this. These were, I think we got these in farm foods, but they are available in other places, and I think it was about a pound, 25, I don't know if he knows the price. I genuinely can't remember. But I think Max will happily polish this off and enjoy it. I'm going in for a second bit because I don't mind it. I'm not going to eat any more. I just wanted to know about that white chocolate. Like I said at the start of the video, the chocolate from Hershey's is not as good as the chocolate in the UK. But I bet this is made in the UK. It's probably made over here. This has not been imported. Unless it's from Malaysia. Well. Oh, there's the Netherlands on the back as well. Imported by Euro Foods in Northampton. Manufactured in Malaysia. So, Malaysia. Is America your biggest market? I don't know these things. But it's not too bad. Putting my personal preferences to one side. It's not too bad, but I've had a lot better. For more videos where we don't know the origin country from where the chocolate has come, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy Adam's video next, unless you've already watched it, in which case, don't forget to like and subscribe, like I've said already, and I'm gonna go and give this to Max in his bedroom. Bye. Oh, hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. We have done a, this is a two part video. Either Vincent's gone first or I've gone first and the other one's gonna be turning up. So if you wanna see two reviews in one that's not done anywhere, do you remember that? Five, three, two, one. If you wanna see three, two, no, 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 we're not doing three reviews. If, we, if you wanna see two videos, two in one, then that's what you're getting. So we was in the shop the other day, we was both in farm foods. We both picked up one of these. Now I picked up the flat white and Vincent picked up the salted caramel. I think I told Vincent to get the flat white, but I don't know, he, thought, he kind of he kind of forced my arm to get this. Now this is new from Hershey, Hershey's, Hershey's. Um, cookies and cream, flat white flavored chocolate bar. So it's gonna be a coffee flavored infusion on a chocolate bar from Hershey's. Like I said, if you wanna see a salted caramel, new one of these, that was either before my part or it's after my part. Let's try this. Flat white from Hershey. Ah, oh, bro. It didn't break. What are the odds of that? I'm so clumped. I'll so... oh, just crack that a tiny bit. The smell of coffee is pouring out of it. That, well, just by smell wise, they've packed this with coffee. Hershey's are not messing, them, messing about. Now, I was going to say, I'm not a massive fan of Hershey's chocolate. I'm just not, I'm just not a massive fan. It just don't, it don't do anything for me. So let's have a look at this. But the coffee pouring, whoa, that's got some coffee pouring out of this. This, is, this has got a lot of coffee in it, just by smell. Just by smell. Does it smell artificial? Maybe a little bit. So look at that, there's the bar. It's got the uh, the classic Hershey's bar, all the little Hershey things. And at the back, there's all these little bits and bobs. And that is really strong smelling of coffee, really strong. Just break a bit of this off. Like a little, tiny little square. And you can't just chew it and swallow it, you've got to taste it, but that coffee has hit me hard. You should let it melt in your mouth and infuse in your mouth a little bit. You need to taste it. Nah. This is really strong of coffee, really strong. It's creamy, the cream is coming through now. There's a few different flavours coming out here. There's a nice coffee taste. The coffee taste tastes a bit artificial. The chocolate taste That even the top chocolate tastes a bit artificial. There's some nice tastes I'm getting, but in that little bar you are getting a mixture of different tastes. Because I've tasted it properly, Vincent. That's how he eats his uh, chocolate. Would I buy this again? Let's answer some simple questions, because I'm struggling whether I'm liking this. Would I buy it again? No. No, I've had a lot better coffee tasting chocolate. Is it a flat white? It's just a coffee. It's a strong coffee taste. The taste of the coffee tastes artificial, but not in a super horrible way, but not the most pleasant of coffee tastes I've had. The little crunchy bits are nice. They give it texture. The white chocolate is just okay. It's nothing on Milky Bar, nothing on any of them. It's nothing on Cadbury's white chocolate. It's nothing on none of them. It's, not, it's nowhere near. It's not even in the same sport as any of them as white chocolate goes. It's almost on the Kinnerton level, the, the, the Aldi Dairy Fine level of chocolate. And even them are probably better because they're a bit sweeter. I think this American chocolate is not as sweet as the ones we used to in this country. And I even like the Swiss and the Belgian chocolate. They are really nice, superior tasting chocolates. And even the German chocolate is superior tasting. If I was gonna rate all countries chocolates, American chocolate, unfortunately for me, comes out of the bottom. But just clocking this at the back, it says Amsterdam. But I'm sure Hershey's is American. But whatever. <laughs> it's made in Amsterdam, shipped to the UK, 
but is her she's American I need to google it is H-E-R I just I just spell it H-E-R-S-H Hershey a American American it's okay American so Hershey's is American so my facts and figures are right I ain't had an American chocolate I thought oh that's a nice bit of chocolate and it's no dig out at the Americans we might have some American people watching this but I've tasted chocolate from pretty much around the world Australia to New Zealand to Hungary to everywhere in the world I would rate American as flat bottom like there's no one but I'm not finding anyone I would put below them Oreos I don't like Twinkies bah now the taste just don't do anything for my taste buds so the chocolate on this is not the nicest by a long stretch there we go rating out I don't even want no more of it so rating out of um, rating out of 10 for this even though it's a strong coffee tasting the coffee does taste artificial that would get a 2 out of 10 well done there Hershey's for absolutely nothing now I'll put that on the side and it will get recycled back into the house someone will consume it you lot take care for more videos featuring me moaning about American chocolate since 1984 subscribe <sighs> hey hello welcome to the other video you just shall I do that again?